This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create ethereal images from photos that hearken poetic visions from past memories and dreams. You can apply this technique to any photo you like. I provided this image of a house on a rural country road. Its link is in my video's description below or in my project files. If you're using a different photo, go to Image and Image Size. Make sure its resolution is 150 pixels per inch to ensure that your results will look similar to mine. This is because the filter setting amounts I'll be using in this video will be configured for images that have that resolution. Before we begin, if you're not already a subscriber to Blue Lightning TV, remember to hit that subscribe button to let you know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials. We'll make a copy of the photo so we always have the original intact. Press Ctrl or Command J. We'll smudge the perimeter of the image and some areas of the center by opening our smudge tool. Open the brush picker and pick a soft round brush. We'll adjust its size in a moment. Make its hardness 0% and its strength 20%. To make your smudge tool tip bigger or smaller, make sure your caps lock key is off and press the right or left bracket key on your keyboard. Drag your tool outward from the center and smudge any other areas you feel could add to the dream effect. Next, we'll convert our visible image into a smart object so we can add filters to it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. Check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the Distort folder and click Diffuse Glow. Make the graininess 0, the glow amount 2, and the clear amount 20. Feel free to increase the glow amount and decrease the clear amount to your liking. As I toggle back and forth to hide and reveal the filter, you can see how it slightly blooms out the lightest tones of your image. Go to Filter and Lens Correction. Open the Custom tab and drag the Vignette Amount slider all the way to the left. Click the Adjustments tab again and click the black and white icon. Click the On Image Adjustment tool. When you click and drag the tool to the right or left, it makes your image darker or lighter based on the predominant color of your image at that location. I did an in-depth tutorial on this powerful adjustment layer, so if you'd like to watch it, I provided its link as well. Next, we'll darken the midtones of our image. Open the Adjustment Layer panel again, and this time click the Levels icon. Drag the Input Midtone slider to the right. We'll add a soft, thin vignette around the inside perimeter of our image. Click the New Layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill it with white. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Change its blend mode to Multiply. Double click the layer to open its layer style window. Click Inner Glow. The color is black. If it isn't, click it and pick black. The blend mode is normal, the opacity is 100%, and the noise is zero. The technique is softer, and the source is edge. The choke is 15%, and the size is 70 pixels. The contour is linear, and the range is 50%. I think I'd like to make the grass a bit brighter, so I'll double click the black and white icon to open that adjustment layer. I'll click the On Image Adjustment tool again, and place the tool on the grass. I'll click and drag the tool to the right to brighten it.
This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.